Hello everybody and welcome back to Cities Skylines in the region of Knight's Gauntlet. We're looking over central old Indiana, I think. Maybe eastern Indiana, maybe the Ohio border. Um, don't really know. I mean, yeah, whatever. So, um, so having a lot of fun with our episode. Uh, between episodes, I did go in and I completed US-24. Um, I know it's a little bit weird looking here that it just kind of does a sharp turn, but the idea was this was the original road, and then it did continue out to follow this path, but it had to make the sharp turn so I could make a 90 degree, or you know, an, an intersection here. And then I didn't put the full blown in because obviously the old route would not have continued this way. So it just connects to that side and then traffic has to do the crossover. And there's no tr uh, signals here. So it's basically just a oh, auto save. It's basically just a uh, you come out, you turn and then you make your turn around. Or if you're going this direction, like this vehicle, um, and you want to go to it, then you get and turn around and come here. And I did all that boring stuff of lane connectors, and I also made certain my signs were proper. So you have to yield as you're coming out. So this truck that's coming in will have to yield to the traffic, and then eventually it'll make its turn. I don't expect a lot of traffic going through there, but then you can see that truck just did what it had to do. So, um, so I did that. Um, I did a little bit of smoothing out of I-75. It did have some bumps in there. But I got as far as right about here, and then just gave up on it because it's really tedious and boring. Um, and I really just wanted to play the game a little bit more. And then there is absolutely nothing I can do. There is no hope for right here. This hill is just way too high. The only thing I could do at this point is just turn this into a tunnel. And I might do that. I might just tunnel underneath all of this. Uh, we'll see. Maybe that will be a major construction project in the future to tunnel between um, Vermont Avenue and the Parker Highway. Um, so I-75 as signed. Actually, I take it back. This is supposed to be I-75 as signed. Um, it comes up. It's not the real world because I-75 real life comes up goes right through Detroit and then kind of comes back this way but uh, um, it kind of comes up goes right through Troy and Rochester and what have you or not Rochester I can't remember uh, it just comes up and then goes this way through Bay City comes up and then this is kind of the way it goes but anyhow so this episode, what would I like to do? We still have a good residential demand. We have some office industrial demand. I want to go check out my Hammond Whiting area that I built last episode. But you can see we have a whole bunch of little houses in here. That's exactly what I was looking for. So it looks a little bit less, uh, a little bit less uh, upper class, I guess. It's nothing. It's not saying anything against people that live in small homes. Um, I personally live in a small house. So, uh, I just, you know, I want some variety in the housing in the city. So, I don't want everything to have to be these giant, you know, 4 by 4 uh, estate type uh, um, homes. So, this guy, they're not going to like it, but boom, you're getting a tool and die shop right next door to you. So, uh, to offset all of that, how about this, folks? We'll give you a park right over here. How's that? So, a nice wide, long park right next to the high school there. There you go. Okay. Um, I, I really did mess up Chicago, though. I really didn't leave enough space between this freeway, um, this train station. I probably should have put over here. I really should have, because now I've just kind of divided the city with this rail. It literally is like the wrong side of the track. I could continue. I mean, I have this over here. Actually, what's going on right here? Why don't I have anything over here? I was probably saving that for something, but I don't know what. 
So, boom, we're going to put office in there. Okay. Same thing here. I don't know what I was saving that for. So, boom, office. It probably very well could have been office that I was planning to put in there. Um, so, I'm not about to go back and check all my older episodes just to figure out what that was going to be. <laughs> um, through here, though, what I would like to do, um, along here, because it is... a uh, um, right next to the track and everything in an industrial area. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in an industrial area here. Some more industry, I should say. So, boom, and then right along the track, right there, there we go. And wow, they were happy for that. Look at that. So, I'm going to leave this open because I... Notice I don't have anything zoned on it. I don't want anything zoned on the road with the uh, terminal. So, um, wow, I have two large warehouses. Well, that's okay. So, animal product and flour. I have no idea if these are distributing as they're supposed to, but anyhow, I have a, a slaughterhouse. Um, you know, Chicago at one point was known as uh, for its uh, um, slaughterhouses, and you know it was how beef got to. Well, I can't remember which direction was it. Beef got to the east from the plains. I think it was. I may be completely wrong about that too. I just seem to recall something like that. So, but yeah, I'm I'm kind of happy with my little. I know this isn't actually Hammond waiting, but what I'm calling Hammond and Lane. Um, although it is all part of Chicago as far as the game is concerned at this point. Um, do I want to fill in this little area right here? I don't know. Uh, I have Lansing. Um, I could put... What is it? See? Joseph? I forgot what that little lake community, or lakeside community is over here in Michigan. Uh, I still want to figure out something to do in the middle. Oh, I know what I can put in the middle. It just hit me. Uh, boom! It hit me like a ton of bricks. This would be a good spot for a national park, I think, with its rolling hills. I think a national park. So this is going to be the national park episode. So first thing we're going to need is access to said national park. Well, I-75 is the only path up here right now. So I think this valley, as it is, would be a good spot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to build an interchange. So here's our next 15 minutes. Sorry, folks. <laughs> uh, if you get annoyed with my uh, interchange building, just make a comment below. Um, I enjoy building them, but I know they're not a lot of fun to watch build. Um, maybe I should do them off camera. So, I would like to, uh, but, you know, they're fun to build, and I think, uh, you know, they're efficient. And they're not the turbines that, uh, I do like the turbines. Uh, when I say a turbine, we're going to come back. Uh, these things right here because they are extremely efficient, but yes, they do get boring. So, all right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna put a nice big, do I really need a six lane road? You know what, I'm gonna drop that. We're gonna drop that to a, to a four lane road, I should say. There we go, okay. I didn't need a six lane road there. Come out, 10, 11, 12, right to the ground level. 12 is the optimal distance in vanilla game. All right. Um, and then the road is going to... So I should also plan out... I think right about here would be a good spot for my welcome center slash uh, entrance. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to make a... Uh, we're going to have it on a one-way road. We're going to have a straight segment for it. And then we're going to get into Curvy. Or into... Uh... It's not going to be quite a roundabout. 
But the idea is... Um, that it's just a one-way, that this exit almost is just entirely dedicated to the park. It sort of works. Um, it is public property, so it sort of works to have a dedicated exit for private, uh, because generally you wouldn't for private property. Up here in the Detroit area, we had some uh, consternation about that along I-75 up on Auburn Hills a while ago, where uh, there was an, ex an exit, uh, blah, 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 an exit ramp from I-75 in Auburn Hills that was just for the Chrysler headquarters, and uh, people were a little upset because uh, if you you could get to Featherstone Road from uh, the exit, but you had to go through the security at the uh, Chrysler Tech Center. People got a little upset about that, and eventually they redid the entire thing where um, now it is a public exit. But enough of that. So Nature Reserve Main Gate, uh, we run a large one for this, and we're going to put it right there. Bam! Sheffield Trail. Well, that's going to change right off the bat. We're going to call this... Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it. For uh, I'm going to give it a better name than Sheffield, though. So for right now, we're just going to call it the Great Mitten Park. National Park. There we go. Uh, okay. So we've got our exit, uh, our ramp... There, our gate, our road. Um, I'm also going to put, before I forget, it may or may not seem realistic, but I think there would be some parking out here for this thing. Mm -mm. You would park, so there wouldn't be a need to go back, I don't think. I really don't think there would. Oh, I have anarchy enabled. Whoops. We're going to put two of them down. Um, I don't like that one. It's just too big. And I don't want to be oppressive when you, you know... As you're going to the park, I think it would be okay, but leaving the park... So we'll do that. Okay. Leave just a little bit of space. I just want some parking nearby um, and I have no idea why that building is quite that high so let's go ahead select it and change its height to be the same as that there we go okay better all right uh, but now that I've done that I sh I'm going to do something to just account for traffic that may want to reconnect it. There we go. Okay. And then, just for fun, in the middle of it, because as folks are coming through the park, I think it'd be nice that they actually walk through a park to get to the National Park. Boom. And then to the trails here, and then... Come on. Arg, I had it. There. And there. Uh, and then last but not least, they're going to want or need a way to cross the road. So we'll give them a crosswalk there, and we'll give them a crosswalk there. Okay. All right. So that takes care of that bit. Let's go ahead and do our entrance exit, because when did I do that long ago? I went through all this effort of building this wonderful little neighborhood and then didn't have any <laughs> access road access to the freeway from it whatsoever it took me a while to realize that too so yes I know I'm using uh, a road that wouldn't normally be used Come on, I want that right there um, but it seems to be easier to build with the two-way road and then just change it like that. 
the two-way roads, I actually get uh, two-way. The one-way roads, I actually get uh, road guidelines and everything with them. So, <laughs> disable angle. I'm gonna come out to there. Home. Right about there. And yep, I know this is the wrong direction. About 180 degrees, if I can get it. If I can't, as close as possible. So, right there should be good. Come back over, coming off the freeway. Uh, we want that, but then we want to turn into a normal. So there we go. We have to have our deceleration lane and our acceleration lane on that side. So we've taken care of that side. All right, come back to here. So, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of road guidelines or getting a little bit frustrating, get rid of angle as well. So 12 home. I haven't even looked at this from street level yet, so I don't know how well this looks. Uh, oh, I had it. I almost had it. 180.2. Boom. Okay. Change that to the one lane highway for the at, and then our acceleration lane. Back over to our two lane road. Um, that can actually be a straight shot. Boom. About 180 degrees on that. Right there, highway, upgrade, reverse change, reverse. And we have our interchange, our deceleration lane. There we go, let's just take a look at street level, as it were. Um, the bridge is a little bit wonky, let's go ahead. Um, oh, whoa, okay, that's a really wonky looking bridge. So, there we go. It's kind of a optical illusion. It looks like it's uh, going down this way, but it's just because of the land up there. But according to the game, that's level. So, and that is definitely gives gives us enough clearance. Um, those ramps aren't too unrealistic in their slopes. We are set there. Next is the next fun part: our lane arrow, our lane connectors. So, uh, sorry folks, you are now visiting the National Park whether or not you wanted to. Oh no, you can, well, that motorcycle might be. Um, just to keep traffic moving, as it should. We'll do our freeway first, and then we'll get to the surface street. So... Alright, and then the far right lane merges in and the two inner lanes are through traffic and continue uh, without any problem. There we go. One, two, three, four. What the heck are we connecting for? <clears throat> Didn't I just hear this piece of music? I could have sworn it was like five minutes ago. Okay, so that takes care of the freeway up here. Um, you know what would have been a good idea, possibly, up here? would have been a diverging diamond. We're going to get rid of that. So I could have just put an asymmetrical road there, I suppose. Two on this side, one on this. But maybe in the future that exit will uh, go the other direction. Uh, you can turn or go straight, although no. That lane really should just be reserved for straight through. This should be a turn only. I just realized what I did wrong, but oh well. Um, 
So you can go that way and you can go up to here. Not that anybody's going to do that unless they want to turn around. And then here, nobody can turn around. You must exit. No re-entry to the United States. <laughs> Just saw that sign recently when coming back from Ohio on I-75. Uh, at least I think it was I-75. Okay, so we have our exit. We've got our gate. Now we need to go ahead and build, start building out our park. So what would we like to do? This is really going to be more just a national park or a natural like park. So we're going to put down a trail first, obviously. Um, it is not going to have lights. Well, okay, the first little bit may have lights. How's that? Um, let's take a look here. How's that look? That's a bit of a hike right out of the right out of there, isn't it? Let's take this down just a little bit. There we go. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of landscaping here, so we're gonna gentle this out. Um, let's make a little bit more of a, a valley into here. Well, I didn't want to quite go that far. Okay. It's a little north for Saginaw, isn't it? I'm thinking like Saginaw Valley, but that's a little bit for further north. Actually, what I could do is kind of connect this. Just kind of like that. That should work. And I think... Um, sand? What's that? Wait a minute, what is sand? Oh, is that like... Hang on. Hang on. Is that what I think it is? Oh, awesome! Alright, Sleeping Bear Dunes. <laughs> okay, excellent, you can paint sand. Alright. Yep, Sleeping Bear Dunes. Okay, anyhow, let's come back over to here. Concentrate on what we were doing. Um, I think... Where was it? Right here. This would be really cool if it had a little lake. So we're going to do that, and hopefully we don't flood everything out. Um, we're going to have to get rid of the trees in there. So, sorry trees. We'll put some back once the water fi figures out where... Once I figure out the level that I want on that. But I think a little lake there would be nice. I don't think there's a real-life lake right there, but... Um, I hope it doesn't overflow. Don't flood out my, my visitor center. Okay. So, yep, looks like it's pretty good. Actually, that's worked out really good. I think I got a good height on that. So, anyhow, we're going to build a path out to that. And now it is going to kind of curve because I want it to follow in that valley. Uh, but I don't want it to be elevated. Darn it. So we're going to come right over to the lake. I'll just build straight out to it for the time being. There we go. Um, can I get rid of that? If I go to this, force to ground, then come back to here. Oh, hang on. Where's the road? Okay, back to the road. Select that. Come back to the park. No, but I think... I think... There, okay. It remembers when you're on the road, what you had selected. Okay. There we go. All right. So we got a path out to a lake. Well, obviously, if we have a lake, it's a little bit small for a lake, but more like a pond, isn't it? 
What can we put? Is there any kind of a uh, water feature? I'm pretty certain there are. Yeah. We've got the fishing cabins. So, just a couple small little fishing... Uh, a fishing cabin or two. Um, must be inside a park area. I guess it would help if I actually painted a park area. So we've got this park area right here. The Great Mitten National Park. Make it a little bit bigger. Get to this. Because this is going to be similar to Gath Paladin National Park in Knight's Helm. It's going to be pretty darn big. And it's going to be most of the mid-state. So for right now, it'll just cover this area. And then we'll see what happens as the park may or may not grow. Alright, let's come back. Can I put the fishing cabin down? Oh, yep. So we'll put it down right there. And then before I forget, let's get a path out to it. Because it is already complaining about the lack of a path. I tell you, these sims, they expect some sort of way to get to these things that I'm building, you know? They're so needy. That really shouldn't be going up. There we go. Oh, I like that. That is so nice right alongside the... That is, like, perfect. I like that the water is right there. I might have some flooding issues, but I'm... I'm so happy that worked out almost perfectly when it comes to the water level. Okay. Uh, so we have one fishing cabin, uh, but we need a lot more, obviously, in this park than just fishing cabins. So we have the main gate, we have a nature reserve main gate, small nature reserve. Which one did I build? The nature reserve main gate. Okay, yeah. uh, da -da -da -da, a side gate. Uh, some campfire sites, some observation things, a tent camping site, lean-to shelters, camping sites, bouldering site, a natural res nature reserve sign one. I'm not going to put those down with a brush. Which way is that facing? That's the wrong direction. There we go. So it'll be at a little bit of an angle. There you go. So as you come in, you get that. Um, it's the great hovering sign somehow, too. Let's make certain it's like, there we go. All right. Uh, so hunting cabin. Well, OK, I should lay out my trails. So let's go ahead and lay out some trails. So I'll come up to here. We'll have a hunting cabin up here. Hunting cabin. Okay, I'm going to try something. Boom. But I want it to actually be like right at the end of the trail. Like that. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that almost kind of reminds me, again, I-75, Auburn Hills, long ago, as you made the curve near the Pure Road, you'd see this A-frame house up on the hill. Now it's, um, org, um, engineering or whatever, but, uh, you know, they tore the house down, but I'll always remember that A-frame house that was up there. Okay, enough reminiscing. Let's see, we'll put down, uh, Another path, so we'll have a path that leads off, how about this direction, up to here, and we'll have another hunting cabin. And then same thing, I want it right on the end of the, the path, like so, okay. Good. So they've got enough space between themselves. Um, over here by the lake, we're going to want some stuff, too. So obviously we're going to have 
Now I'm getting into like decoration level stuff, but I'm assuming these are benches, right? Yeah. A couple of benches so you can sit here and look over the water. We'll have, or is, I thought I saw something like a gazebo or something similar. Nope. All right. Well, we've got the observation tower. Um, so we'll put one right there. Nice. Let's see. We could have the trail come up here. Uh, we'll come off of this. We'll come up. We'll come up right over to here. Is that an unrealistic? Nope, that's not too unrealistic. That's not bad at all. And then we'll have one of these that just overlooks. Because you've got to have something that... Look at that. Oh, yeah. Looking over that. Nice view there. Okay. So we've got that. We're going to need some some camping. So where would camping be, be at? So this is a hunting area. This is a hunting area. So obviously you don't want campers near there. Because you get the hunters that are a little overzealous. And they see something move and they shoot it. And, well, anyhow. Um, I don't want them too far away from the entrance, though. But they're going to be. <laughs> they're going to be far away from the entrance, unfortunately. So, uh... Let's continue around the lake here. We can come back up, spiral, um, kind of like this. And that's far enough away. In fact, I could do something. I could do this. Aha. Okay, I've got a cat in the way. We'll actually give you know, an indicator of you don't be gone past this. Alright. So this is the hunter hunting area. So the deer and whatever can get over that, but it's a signal to us that, hey, no, you don't, you don't go uh, wandering through here. And these people will pay a lot of money for their hunting, so, to, for those cabins. Okay, so that, that delineates those. That's good. So now let's put down some campsites. Give people a reason to come to the Great Mitten National Park. I'm kind of surprised there's no uh, outhouses. Maybe there are, and I just didn't see them. Okay, so we got some there. I suppose it would be nice to just connect this loop. There we go. That means I can put a couple more camping sites along here, then. Uh, we'll have the nice big one down here by the water. I have a couple of them. There we go. So you can look over the water. I wouldn't mind having that tent, although I'm not much of a fan of camping. I need my creature comforts. I, I gotta have uh, showers with hot water. Not these pseudo showers where it's like a community thing either. I'm just weird that way. Alright, brush size, there we go. Pick that and then bring this up a little bit. Can we do that? Because it looks a little bit weird there. I need to raise or lower, as the case may be. Maybe I just need to lower. And then lower the park as well. To be the same height as that, maybe? 
That's a little bit better. Okay. Okay. Nice. Um, through here. What could I put in here? I would like to have something in here. As opposed to just a big wide open space there. Um, there's not really a lot of options with the national parks though. There's another camping site. Alright, let's do this. We'll put just another one of those big ones in. We'll have a path off of here. That just kind of reconnects to here. And then that needs to be leveled out just a little bit. I mean, these people are probably going to be physically fit, but let's make it a little bit easy for them. If I were to visit this park, I mean, it was funny when I visited National uh, Sleeping Bear Dunes. Ah, oh, as a kid, I could run up that thing with no problem. A couple weeks ago, though, I was not able to do that. It was uh, difficult. Okay, so... Earth. Not quite what I was hoping for, though. Can we smooth this out just a little bit? Let's take the brush down. And... nope, apparently not. Um, I put that a little bit too close, apparently. Eh, oh well. There's one way to take care of that. And what is that? Trees! And being that this is Michigan, uh, we need maples. So there was the sugar maple, but I thought I remember some red maples. Here we go, yeah. Red maples. So this will be like a red maple park over here. Let's up that. Well, that's a little bit bigger than I intended. There we go. So a lot of red maples through this area. Let's take that brush size down. Oh, that's a string of derp. Brush size. Okay, let's just go down to single now. I need something to change, rotate the trees. They're all the same, rotated the same way. I get different sizes, but they're just kind of weird when they're all the same direction. Okay, I like red maples. And my yew trees, but you wouldn't have a lot of yews in Michigan, I don't think. And then let's put some undergrowth under all of that. So I'll have some vegetation underneath. That's too big. Uh, nope, I gotta do this with the single again. Just to kind of cover the ground. Is that actually putting anything down? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's not quite what I was hoping for. I just want to hide that harsh cliff back there. So the best way to do that is just cover it with trees and vegetation. Okay. I'm not even really looking. I'm just indiscriminately plunking these down. Okay, that's good enough. All right, super. Oh, that's looking really good. Oh, I love how it's so close to the water. It's not that ridiculous height that you always get. So there we go. The Great Mitten National Park. It's a start. We'll work on that in the future. But for right now, it is working out really well. And because it is a national park, guess what, folks? We're going to be nice, and it's going to be only five bucks to go to that national park. So, 
one star. We'll see how long it takes. Um, no visitors quite yet, but in the future, maybe there will be some visitors. We shall see. So, everybody, I'm hoping you're having a great time with the series. And let's get a nice shot from our observation uh, platform here, looking out over some of the area. What a beautiful view we have of downtown Detroit, way off in the distance there. So, everybody, I hope you're having a great time with the series. And I will see all of you in the next episode of Cities, Skylines, Knights Gauntlet. Take care, and bye.